I am Dan Brady with DanBradyPaintingTricks.com, and I'm here with Deneen Dingman, designer Deneen at the Habitat Restore, and we are talking about doors once again. And Deneen, what do we have here? Well, we have so many things you can do with doors. We um, have been talking about using bifolds, and I think with the holidays coming up and you've got guests coming to town, you may have areas that you just want to put behind some doors so that it's just, you know, you keep it private. Or if you want to give your guests um, a private area, just take some of these bifold doors. These aren't even hinged together. I mean, they're hinged um, as two because they're bifold. But if you wanted to do three and make a little work for yourself, you can do that. Or you can just take them and stand them up wherever you want them. Put them, you know, if somebody's sleeping on the couch, put them up there so you don't have to see them in the morning when you're putting your turkey in the oven. How come you looked at me when you said somebody's sleeping on the couch? <laughs> so these are some bifolds that were solid. Here at Habitat, we had this really cheesy plastic corner cabinet, plastic wood grain. So we attached it to the bifolds, and then I just primed it, spray primed it with a black primer, and then painted it um, with a semi-gloss black paint. And then the solid parts you can roll out if you want to, or just leave it. Um, and then it's just great storage. It fits in the corner of a room. It doesn't take up much space, but you can put whatever you want on it. Deneen sprayed this in about 20 minutes, so super fast and awesome use for a bifold door. This, again, is just one of the passage doors that everybody probably has them in their basement that they're saving for something. Um, this is really rough, but they're so easy to make. We just use some L brackets and some um, shelving, cut it down to size, the same as the door. And again, spray prime it, roll it with paint. I, I didn't even paint this door. The door was white, and I just painted the shelves before I put them up. And it's great storage. Again, it's books. Um, this was an old exterior light that I just ripped the um, guts out of it, put a candle in it, and there you have it. It's great, like if you want to do canning and you want to put these up in your basement, fill them with all of your canning goods. Lots of possibilities. So come on down to the ReStore, get yourself an old door, and revive it for Christmas. Great job, Deneen. You too, Dan.